Today's game is being played in Newson Stadium, home of the Nashville Lycans. A lot of great music clubs in Nashville, Bricks. Yeah, I went to a country star Dar Crooks' place last night. It was like half dead. It was only 9 o'clock. It's a zombie joint, you idiot. Of course it was half dead. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Tokyo Terminators take on the Nashville Lycans. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, he's gone berserk. The ball carrier better watch out for the beat gets hit. He is now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent. Holy crap! He missed time the spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Griff. Loneliness, suffering, and then it's over much too soon. Second and three. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He might catch him. Oh, you fat little kill. He's at the 10. He scores! No silver bullet's gonna bring them down. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. That, my friends, was an all-pro MFL hit. <laughs> Ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. <laughs> he just picked the receiver's pocket, and the defense gets a turnover. You ever get hit in the head with a boat off, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line. 
and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. First and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? And it's first and ten. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Huh? Huh? Ten pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. First and ten. They've called his half attack. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji! A new game from Wilton Crabtree. The ten! Touchdown! Hey, you kill a ref. It's not murder if they have a cover, right? Take the hand, do something about that ref, you pussies! <laughs> down in less than a It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more reception. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was he can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. Keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say great? 
right his tits? Bam! And with a burst of speed, he finds an open bench and a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Oh man, what a throw! And Sonic Black. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. Second down in a lot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. <laughs> it's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he's running like a moose. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that. Whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. 
Where's extra effort there? Yeah, because you're stupid. A pickup of six yards on the play. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't know the funeral expenses that is. And that'll be second down and four. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it. Oh! And the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And he just slipped away like a bam. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. You might want to try hurling those traps next time. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. And he misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. That's probably why he missed. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now wants to stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. And now that has weird side effects, Brick. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's hit the party. Just follow the bloody footprints to the... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Yeah, The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. 
Second and one. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. And that'll bring up third and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy. He gets three points for it. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. Like, oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First and two. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and two. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. for two. He dropped it. If he does that again, 
he'll drop him. Second down and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents wait. And he takes a time out here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Oh, nice hit. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. He probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to 
see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Great play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This is no place to feel no doubt about it. That guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs. With no players left on their roster, Nashville Lycans lose by forfeit. Oh, it's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And an arm and head, tail. Man, there's a lot of fine parts on a field. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...